close your eyes and watch your breath. When you breathe in, notice where you feel it, and notice if it feels comfortable. Is it too long or too short, too heavy, too light, too fast, too slow? You can adjust the breath so it feels good. Think of the breath bathing your body. It's the whole process of breathing, all the parts of the body that are engaged in the breathing. You feel relaxed, nourished. It's a good place to stay. Because we want to stay here because we want to see what the mind is doing, to see the extent to which it's a traitor to our desire for happiness. In other words, we all want happiness, we all want pleasure. This is why we do the things we do and say the things we say. But the question is, why does it end up causing stress and pain? What part of the mind is deceiving itself? Because sometimes we know better, sometimes we don't know better. We are put in situations where we really don't know what to do. I've never had any experience with it before. So that's common that we might make mistakes then, but there are so many things that we do again and again and again, and yet they keep causing us stress, and we do it again. The question is why? What part of the mind is lying to itself? Well, you want to stay right here and watch, so you can begin to understand okay, which intentions come up you can trust and which ones you can't trust. And if you're not sure, well, you test them. But you want the mind to be a fair judge of these things, too, which is one of the reasons why we want to get it really still and very calm, so we can judge these things fairly. Because sometimes we're willing to put up with a certain level of stress and pain, even when we don't have to, but we're just used to it. But if you can get the mind really, really still, and then you go back to your old ways, you begin to see immediately, okay, this is really not necessary and I don't know why I'm doing this. I've been doing it for a long time, but it doesn't make any sense anymore. Because you've got the mind in touch with a deeper level of well-being. This is how the practice works. The more quiet you can get the mind, the more subtle things you can see. Both the subtle little actions in the mind and the subtle kind of stress that they're causing. And when you can see that, and when you can see that those kinds of actions are unnecessary, that's when you can drop them. You find that the mind is a lot lighter, it's a lot less burdened by the suffering and stress that's causing itself. So try to get the mind comfortable being here in the present moment, because this is where you can see all these things. And try to keep it as still as possible. Any other thought that comes in right now, you don't have to go running after it. Just let it go past, go past. Think of your awareness as being like a big screen, like a screen on a window. The breeze comes through, but it doesn't catch the screen and take it with it. The screen stays right where it is. The breeze comes, the breeze goes, and you're right here with a sense of belonging here. That's when you can see things really clearly, and when you can see things really clearly, that's when you can make useful changes in the mind, useful changes in your habits. So this is a really important skill to work on. because it develops the qualities that we need for all the skills that we need to develop in life.